Prophet by Angel is in the news again. I killed a journalist in cold blood for Prophet Bushiri. I killed a journalist. Prophet by Angel exclaims, and it's you have to listen to this one. It is so crazy, right? Listen. Those who remember the days of Shiloh. We never repeated that conference. You know why? Because it was in the papers. They were fighting us. I wasn't doing no more, no more, no more testimony, miracle testimony. No, no, no. I went on the pulpit from, from nowhere. God said, tell everyone to bring a prayer request. But their prayer request should have a list of their enemies. Sit down. And the first person was Prophet Bushiri. He brought a... He said, this, um, he was young then. He had not even moved to South Africa. He said, this is the person who is writing against me every day. I don't know. So he, he never knew what I wanted to do with the enemies. I put it here. I said, everyone. We had first seven put on the platform. I said, now I'm going to read these names. Read the name, read the name, read the name. I said, God within one hour, let them die. I don't know what it was. Maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Messages. Someone just fell. The journalist fell by the door of, fell, going into his own car. Nobody killed him. His own heart attacked him. He died of heart attack. Sheila! Sheila! Listen, if you think you know you better angel, come to Shiloh. Let's, let's prove you don't know him. We, we, we don't do it here. Ah, why do it here? No, there is so much technology here. We don't need technology there. So guys, Shiloh is coming on in Zimbabwe, I guess. Zimbabwe, right? You guys need to join. If you are in Zimbabwe and you are watching this and you are thinking, oh, I'll be waiting for the broadcast. Go there. Go to the grounds. Go to the grounds, right? And so, um, <laughs> oh my goodness. You see what Prophet Ube Angel did for, uh, for Bishiri? Killing a journalist. I'm not, I'm not attacking Prophet, right? I'm just trying to make you see how christianity is 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 more ritual than your traditional operations it's more ritual than witchcraft manipulations and operations we as christians our faith is not gentle we are christians our faith is very scary and more ritual and that's what i want you to know he now all of y'all bring your upon disturbances and all that. Okay. Bring your because I I I think Prophet was also having his list. He was also having his list. Now all of you bring your, your list of prayer requests, right? Enemies based. This one the enemies based, right? Now, Prophet Bushiri was the first man to appear. Went to the podium, presented to the father. Father, this is my own. These people have been tormenting my life. Journalists. Prophet Ibanjo said, oh, you don't, they don't even know what I'm going to do. Okay, that's fine. He prayed his prayer. Didn't even take up to an hour. The next thing they heard in the news. And I like the way he said it. The journalist's own attack, own heart, sorry, attacked him. This is how men of God are so dangerous. Some men of God. I'm not saying all of them. Those that are genuine men of God, right? Very dangerous. <laughs> Killed a journalist. And somebody will say, is that scriptural? 
Ah, you don't read your Bible. Go into the Bible, you see worse things than that. Where God will take pride in killing people. <laughs> God will actually take pride in killing people. Now, Prophet Ubenjo killed someone for Bishiri. It's so crazy. Very, very crazy. And so this is the Christianity we are talking about. When people are tormenting you and wanting to kill you before your time, you kill them. Paul. Somebody say, oh, you have to love them. Christianity is about, eh? Prophet Ubenjo will tell you. That kind of love. Do you know love? Guys, so this is, you know, Prophet Uber Angel sharing this experience in regards to prayer that he did for his son, Prophet Bushiri, and how it worked by killing another man, right? Who is trying to be very, very dangerous to the operations of Bushiri. If he asks me, Nick, do you think it's fair? I'll say, Kill your killers before they kill you. Eh? You first of all go ahead to kill them before they finish you. Unless you want them to finish you before. Then that's your old, it's in your prerogative, it's in your jurisdiction. But I would say, kill your killers before they kill you. Right? My name is Shoda I love to break down gospel messages like this. Guys, uh, if you love this content and if you're updated, if you enjoy this podcast, make sure you subscribe, put me on post notification, share, like this video. I'm out.